Hey guys, John here. So I've been going back and forth a lot from Orlando to South Florida and I've been using the Tesla Model Y long range for that trip. I make this commute pretty often because my home base is an Airstream Classic 33 FB that I full time in and then I have work and other obligations to do in South Florida. So I end up going back and forth a lot and I was realizing how different the trip is in a Model Y than a regular gas car. And so I thought I would take this opportunity to show you guys how I use the car as my mobile office because I use it to work on the road. I also use it as a mobile gym because that actually is part of my job. I'm an online personal trainer. And so I thought I'd give you an idea of what that's like so you can get some ideas on how you might use the car if you are someone who is working from home or working remote or you just wanna get some ideas on how to utilize the car's space. And by the way, all the accessories that I use for my mobile office in this car, uh, I'll put a link in the description around this video so you can see exactly what they are. So my living situation is pretty unique. I'm a full-time Airstreamer. I'm actually in an Airstream Classic 33 FB right now, where I'm recording from. This is kind of like my mobile office that I use for work and for my living space at the moment. And I've been full-time Airstreaming for over three years now. And so you think a lot about car cars and vehicles and how you might use your car, usually a truck if you're an RVer, to go to your next destination and not always you're gonna take the RV with you or the Airstream with you. So in my situation, if I visit friends short term or if I commute quite often like I do from Orlando to South Florida, which is quite a drive, it's almost 300 miles, I'm gonna be working from the car a lot because I work remotely online. So of course there are pros and cons of working on the road. I think the Tesla is amazingly efficient and comfortable because not only is it electric, but it has a lot of technological features that make working from the car or stopping frequently and maybe getting out a setup that you might use in a park or in a parking lot or in a Starbucks nearby or a Panera, wherever you'd like to work. Um, there are conveniences that an electric car has that a gas car doesn't for remote work like that or for quick work on the road. For one, the interior is very comfortable, front seat, back seat, and even you can fit into the trunk area and sleep if you want to. You can make that comfortable by putting the seats down. It's a different experience with an electric car because it's so easy to, if you need to stop somewhere and charge, you don't have to worry about burning through gas while you're stopped and doing something like on the computer. Like I do, I actually take my computer and uh, I have a little desk that I attach to the steering wheel. And also if you're traveling a lot in general, this car allows you to travel frequently without getting too fatigued. There's a lot of conveniences that make it easy to drive, like the one pedal driving, the smoothness of the electric drive, the lack of rumble that would normally be there in a gas car, navigation, autopilot, it makes it a very comfortable experience. So if you are on the road a lot like me, that helps to take the fatigue out of a long drive. If you're enjoying this video so far, it'd mean a lot to me if you could click like, subscribe, interact with this video by commenting. It helps get the video out to more people who might be interested in this topic. Now, some ways that I use this car specifically for my online work that I do. So I'm an online personal trainer and fitness consultant. I work with people through live video sessions. So I take a lot of equipment with me so I can have a similar experience that I would at home on the road while I'm working. So for example, in the frunk, the frunk has been a great space for me to keep a Yeti loadout cargo box. Now I love Yetis, I probably have way too many of their tumblers and drinkware, but Yeti also makes something called the Go Box, which is great for, uh, I think the way they advertise it is like um, for fishing tackle and kind of camping stuff. And you can keep a whole bunch of different things in there. It's a very versatile piece of equipment. I like to keep my camera equipment in there in the frunk. So, Normally what will happen is if I need to stop on the road to do a live session with somebody, I'll have my tripods in there. I'll have a deconstructed desk that I can put together that fits in there. I have camera equipment that I used to film and some of this I'm using right now. So I use the Go Box mainly for fragile equipment, camera equipment, computer equipment that I don't carry in my day bag with me or in my briefcase that I might have. So that seems to fit really well in the front. Of course, there's other things you can put in there and sometimes I move things around, but that's been a great space for that because I can just pull that stuff out put a tripod together, do my session if I'm outside, or just easily take it out of the car so I can get to a building nearby and do some remote work. Now, another reason the Tesla Model Y is great for people like me is because I'm a fitness instructor and I do this online, once I've set up my camera equipment, I really have almost a whole mobile gym inside the trunk of the Model Y. Now, I use this for my job for training people online, but if I'm just on a road trip and I wanna get a good workout, that's in there for that purpose as well. So my gym equipment is almost always in the car because it fits really well in there. I have a power block 
bench, which is a travel bench that folds up and fits really nicely along the back seat of the car that I can easily pull out. It's not heavy, it's lightweight and I can put that on the ground outside or I can take it to a building. The next amazing piece of equipment I have in there are two power block dumbbells that expand from five pounds per hand to 70 pounds per hand. It can be expandable to more later if I want to, but 70 pounds per hand is plenty for me right now. And so what's great about the trunk in the Model Y is there is a deep well under the trunk, really it's like a second trunk. And so I have the power block weights in there inside of a Pelican case. And the reason I have that Pelican case is because if I'm taking a short trip in the car to another state and I want to have my weights with me in another building and not just near the car, I can roll it to wherever I'm going without having to carry these really heavy weights. I used to carry these power block weights when I would get somewhere by hand and it would be so exhausting. So I'm so glad I got the Pelican case and I really couldn't think of a better container to use. I looked so hard online to find what is good like bag for heavy weights they can carry. And if it wasn't something that was fragile, it was something that was flimsy um, or like soft, like a duffel bag, and that just wouldn't work. It's just too heavy of equipment to, um, to carry like that. So the Pelican case has been great. Now, what's amazing about power block dumbbells, and it's why I've used these weights to work out for so many years now. I've been doing online personal training, I don't know, at least five years now. And I've stuck with the power blocks because it not only is a great way to have an efficient space, you can get really heavy weights or really light weights in the same small space. You can take it with you, it's very portable, and also the mechanism that you use to change the weight is much faster than the other ones in my experience. So I love Power Block, I take them with me everywhere. I use them on trips, I use them in the Airstream sometimes. I try not to work out in here too much because I don't want to damage any of the furniture, so I usually take them outside and work out outside. So Power Block dumbbells are amazing for commuters or remote workers or people that travel a lot. They're not great for planes because they are really heavy, it's going to be expensive to bring them if you're going on a plane, but if you're on the road, it is the best mobile gym you can get in my opinion and so with those power block dumbbells I also use what also fits under the uh, what's what's inside the lower part of the trunk of the Model Y uh, that is a foldable weight rack that you can put the dumbbells on so all that fits inside the trunk and there's even more space for more so for my job because I'm working out a lot I keep those in there and I still have plenty of space in the car for other stuff if I need to bring other things along the way, either from the Airstream to another destination or wherever I am. So no matter what kind of remote job you might have or if you do just like to travel a lot or you're commuting a lot and you like to have work stuff in your car, if you're not doing stuff with fitness, there's plenty of other options that you can use that anybody can use for work. So now because of a recent update with Tesla cars, you can join a Zoom call in the car. Of course, we all know you can watch a YouTube video, you can watch Twitch, you can watch Netflix. You have that screen there that's so useful now and they're always updating it. I love how Tesla's get better over time and the camera isn't so bad. I've tried a Zoom call in the car before, not for work, just for fun to see how it go. And it's kind of interesting, the camera that's above the rear view mirror, it works fine but it seems a little uh, kind of off like it doesn't really look at you which is I mean can't complain about that it still does its job and obviously that camera has other functions as well but it still does a pretty great job of giving a good image on the call and another great function of the Model Y that makes it really easy for people that are working on the road to get their stuff done is you can charge while you work if you're not in any rush if you want to do some work and charge at the same time there are so many free chargers around the US that you can stop in a lot of them are at shopping malls or they call destination chargers where they're usually free around some kind of business and that's great because you can stop there you might grab a coffee from somewhere while your car is charging do some work while it does that and then when you're done just unplug and you've got a little bit more fuel for the next stop so that's it i hope you got some ideas on how you might use this car or a similar vehicle as your remote workstation or your office on the road in your own unique way and i uh, hope you enjoyed the video i'll see you on the next one